everyone. Today the bookworms are going to be reading Little Miss Late, written by Roger Hargreaves. Let's get into the book. Late for this, late for that. Little Miss Late was late for everything. For instance, do you know where she spent last Christmas? At home, early bird cottage. Do you know when she spent Christmas? January 25th, one month late. For example, do you know when she did her spring cleaning at Early Bird Cottage? In the summer, three months late. For instance, do you know when she went on her summer holiday last year? In December, six months late. Early Bird Cottage was just along the road from where a friend of hers lived, Little Miss Neat. Little Miss Neat was out for an evening stroll last October when she looked over the hedge of Early Bird Cottage. Miss Late was in the garden. Hello, called out Little Miss Neat. What are you doing? I thought I'd cut the grass, replied Miss Late. I think, remarked Little Miss Neat looking at the grass, that you should have thought about that last April. Tell you what, suggested Miss Neat. Let's go shopping together tomorrow. Good idea, agreed Miss Late. I'll meet you in town on the corner of Main Street tomorrow afternoon, said Miss Neat. Two o'clock. I'll be there, replied Miss Late. The following afternoon, Little Miss Neat stood on the corner of Main Street at two o'clock, waiting for Miss Late. She waited and waited and waited some more. Miss Late arrived. Sorry I'm a bit late, she apologized. Sorry, cried Miss Neat. A bit late. It's five o'clock and all the shops are shut. Sorry, said Miss Late. And that's what happened all the time. It happened when Miss Lay decided to take a job. Her first job was in a bank, but the trouble was, by the time she arrived for work, the bank had closed for the day, every day. Sorry, she said. They asked her to leave. It happened in her second job as a waitress in a restaurant. Mr. Greedy came in for lunch. He glanced at the menu. I'll have everything, he grinned. Twice. He was still waiting to be served at seven o'clock, so he went home. Sorry, said little Miss Late. They asked her to leave. It happened in her third job, working as a secretary for Mr. Upty. I'd like these letters typed before I go home, Mr. Upty said to her. He went home at four o'clock in the morning. Sorry, said little Miss Late. He asked her to leave. However, as it happened, which is often the way of things, little Miss Lay managed to find herself the perfect job. She now works for Mr. Lazy. She cooks and cleans for him, cleaning his house every morning, cooking his lunch every lunchtime. Now, Mr. Lazy, being Mr. Lazy, doesn't get up in the morning like you and I do. He gets up in the afternoon. And Little Miss Late, being Little Miss Late, is always late for work. So she doesn't arrive for work in the morning. She arrives in the afternoon. And Mr. Lazy, being Mr. Lazy, doesn't have lunch at lunchtime like you and I do. He has lunch at supper time. And so, you see, it all works very well, very well indeed. Last Friday evening, the telephone rang in Early Bird Cottage. Little Miss Lay had just arrived home from work. It was Mr. Silly on the telephone. I've been given some tickets for a dance tomorrow night, he said. Would you like to come? Ooh, yes, please, said Little Miss Lay eagerly. Right, replied Mr. Silly. I'll pick you up at 7 o'clock.
Last Saturday, Mr. Silly walked up the path to the front door of Early Bird Cottage. He knocked. Come in, called a voice from upstairs. Mr. Silly went in. Make yourself at home, called Little Miss Late from upstairs. I'll be down in a minute. The end. That's it for today, everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed. For more read-alongs like these, don't forget to subscribe. If you enjoyed the book, give it a big thumbs up and share it with a friend. Don't forget to join us every day for a new video with a fun read-along. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!